uh, I grew up there in East Fort Worth, and uh, <clears throat> and in about thirty eight, uh, I was about seventeen, I imagine. Yeah, seventeen, and uh, I joined the. There wasn't any jobs around for kids, mm -hmm. so I joined the uh, Texas National Guard just to get their twenty-one dollars a month. And in uh, thirty-nine, and uh, well, actually, nineteen forty, they started uh, mobilizing the National Guard, and uh, they were drafting uh, twenty-year-olds. Mm -hmm. So I was going to be. Uh, 19 in October, so uh, I'd be prime uh, draft bait in, in, in about a year. So I'd already been in the Guard for about a year and a half, so I just went ahead and uh, joined up with them, and we went to uh, Camp Bowie, Texas, down at Brownwood. Stayed there about a year uh, in training, and we were supposed to get out in a year. And uh, I was actually home waiting on a discharge on December the 7th, 1941. <laughs> and of course, you know what happened then. Uh, so I just, uh, they, uh, I went back to the camp and they said, no discharges, everybody's in for the duration. In 42, we got, the whole division got transferred to uh, South Florida, uh, North Florida, when we was taking uh, amphibious training. And this unit I was in was a, the Texas National Guard 36th Infantry Division. And uh, when we got there, well, <clears throat> all the prisoners were on the inside and uh, uh, we went inside, and then the prisoners started kind of drifting out, and uh, and then we saw all these dead folks, and, uh, and then we decided we had to get out of there. And uh, the uh, poor inmates were just kind of they were in a sort of a daze. They didn't act like they knew what they were doing. They were just milling around from one place to the other, in between the trucks. And they'd get in the trucks and out of the trucks, and uh, and uh, some of them were just boys, uh, you know, like teenagers. Some of them were old men, and uh, but they all walked with sort of a stiff, lady legged uh, gait. Yeah. I wanted us to see the atrocities that were committed, and these most of the bodies were just bones and skin. They they were they were starved to death. I think they don't, yeah, well, you get a cold and it'd kill you up there. But uh, that was just one of the things they wanted us to see about why we were there, why we were fighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it was something I haven't forgotten easily. Yeah. I'd like to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> 